What's up everybody? It's Hunter Avalone, your favorite skinny fat lesbian here, back with another video, and today, to you ladies and to you gays, I have a very special video just for you. That's right, we're talking about everyone's favorite penises. More specifically, this absolutely bizarre story that has been circulating online about a man who grew a penis on his arm. No, that's not clickbait. No, you're not watching The Onion. This is a real story. But first, I want to direct all of you guys to check out my brand new merch. The link is in the description below. I have super cool free thinker shirts. I have dope toucan shirts, enlightened centrist merch, and more. So click the link in the description and check out my new merch if you have a big penis. So the New York Post first reported, man who lost penis to blood infection has a new one built on his arm. Here's a little picture. Thankfully, they don't actually show the penis. Uh, I'd be kind of curious to know what that looks like. Yeah, he, he lost his penis, which is pretty sad. I mean, come on, that would suck. And then he got a new one built onto his arm. 2020, ladies and gentlemen, medical technology. Can we just give a, get, a, get a round of applause for that, please? The day has finally come when we can all grow penises off of our arms. A British man whose penis fell off due to a severe blood infection had a new one built on his arm where he even got an extra two inches according to a report. Malcolm McDonald, 45, a mechanic, suffered a horrific infection in his perineum that turned his fingers, toes, and manhood black. Oh. Can we show a picture that's like not so detailed holy okay okay gonna have to cut that out for the for the edit for the video <laughs> so he suffered a severe blood infection uh in his perineum which is the little space between your butt and your genitals <laughs> all right so that, i mean come on that would be really scary right he had a severe infection it turned his fingers toes and his penis black and then when he got rebuilt he got the extra two inches so now maybe his penis is kind of like, you know, African-American black. I'd struggled for years with an infection in my perineum, but I had no idea what could happen. The separated dad of two told the outlet, when I saw my penis go black, I was beside myself. It was like a horror film. I was in a complete panic. I knew deep down it was gone and I was going to lose it, he said. I might need to step out of the room and take a little look at my own penis because this is making me really, really anxious. Wow, this does sound like something straight out of a horror movie. Could you imagine? This guy's a mechanic, right? He's over there like fixing a car. He's like, all right, yo, John, watch the shop. I gotta go pee really quick. He walks in the bathroom, takes his pants off. He's just like, <laughs> my penis has been written down in the death note. He said he was completely gutted when his penis just dropped off onto the floor, but his testicles remained intact. How like, yeah, anybody would feel absolutely gutted. If your penis just dropped on the floor, you're just walking down the street and you hear, I know that that's my penis. I still got my balls though. So hey, glass is still half full. I went to the hospital and they said the best they could do for me was to roll the remaining stump up like a little sausage roll. It was heartbreaking. Is that the, me is that the medical terminology that they used? What did he sit down and the doctor took a look and was like, I'm so sorry, but have you ever seen the breakfast menu at McDonald's? Yeah, that, that's probably the best we can do here. Sorry, chap. Said he became a recluse and began drinking heavily. That's really sad. But then suddenly, there was hope. There was light at the end of the tunnel because the penis Jesus was here. Through his own doctor, he found out about the so-called penis master. It's quite the title. Professor David Ralph of London University College Hospital. So this guy, Professor David Ralph, is known as the penis master. The phallus expert famously created a bionic penis for Andrew Wardle, who was born without one, according to The Sun. It gave me a glimmer of hope that I could go back to being a normal bloke. I guess this is the beginning stages of it. I guess this is where they started to graft skin from his arm to grow the penis. So that's really interesting. Science, it's so fascinating. Ralph said he could perform an arm graft procedure, which would take up to two years. Fortunately, he received funding for the procedure. It was all my Christmases at once. 
the dick in the box has an entirely different connotation. Not having a penis felt awful. It's most men's worst fear. For me, I was never worried about sex because I already had two children. It was always more about my self-confidence and simple things like using the loo. Yeah, I mean, how would he, how did he pee when he didn't have his penis? McDonald also decided to request an extra two inches on the $65,000 appendage. Hey, nice move, man. And honestly, come on, come on, boys. Let's pretend it's Saturday. Let's get all the boys rallied up here for a minute. You know, if you were getting a new penis, who wouldn't request more, like... They were happy to listen to what I wanted it to be like. Not many can say they have a designer penis, he said. That is, that I think that's his next, his next pickup line. Surgeons formed a new manhood with its own blood vessels and nerves using a skin flap on the left arm of the right-handed man. They created a urethra and installed two tubes inflated with a hand pump, allowing him to achieve an erection. He is now waiting for it to be finally transferred to its proper location. I took to it so much, I nicknamed it Jimmy. That was what me and my mates called each other growing up, and this penis was definitely my new mate. Awkward clap. This is the kicker right here, guys. But the new penis has still not been attached four years after the procedure due to a series of missed appointments scheduling problems, staff shortages at the hospital, and finally the coronavirus pandemic. Some of this makes sense, some of it, not so much. Missed appointments and scheduling problems? Wh wait, you mean to tell me you wake up and you're like, oh shit, I slept past my alarm. Damn it, I was supposed to get my penis off my arm and place back where it belongs today. Well, we'll try again next week. Scheduling problems. You know, does Tuesday work for you? Well, that's great. He seems to be very optimistic. He seems to be a good sport about it. But this is such a bizarre story. This is the story of the man who grew a penis on his arm. Thanks for watching, guys. I know this video was a little different than my usual kind of content, but I really do hope you enjoyed this one. It was certainly a lot of fun to film, so please give this video a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel for new videos almost every day. Thanks guys, see you all soon. Peace.